The ninth parliament officially ended with the farewelling of founding father of the nation, Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare. Going into retirement, Sir Michael Somare said it was a privilege to have served PNG throughout all the nine parliaments. In his farewell speech, he reflected on the early days, on the segregation, and how despite all the odds, he believed PNG could unite its 800-plus tribes to form a united nation. It was the only agenda of the day, a special ceremony to pay homage to Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare. He was escorted in after the Speaker had prayed for the last and final seating of the Ninth Parliament. The whole House clapped as he was brought to his seat in Parliament. <clears throat> He said it was a privilege to have served in the distinguished house, one which holds an important role in safeguarding the constitution. This very parliament, when we adopt the constitution, the constitution of Papua New Guinea was adopted. By that I mean that it was through this process of parliamentary system, we adopt the constitution of Papua New Guinea. And uh, it is very important uh, for all of us, as I am going out, making my way out, I had the privilege of serving people of Papua New Guinea as a member for ECP uh, with all parliaments since they elected me in 1968. I've not missed one. Reflecting back, he said he was a teacher and also a radio journalist, but his calling was to serve the people of Papua New Guinea through politics. On colonialism, he said it was a time of few rights and when opinion was given, that he hopes that 100 years from now, the next generation will appreciate their right of being independent. Many observers did not think we could do it. I always felt they were wrong. I refused to hear that... I refuse to hear that. We were natives. We were not capable of doing anything. But we showed to them we did. Yeah. We can. He fondly stated that he chose a life of challenges and to lead the country as a true public servant. He acknowledged he shared a political turmoil while acknowledging all those who stood by him. But most of all, he paid tribute to his supportive wife, Lady Veronica, and his children. To this generation of Papua New Guineans that believe is me, I thank you all for your love and affection for your care and protection in my lifetime. I gave my best years in this country, and I gave, I gave my best years in this country, and I serve as a politician. And I hope, I hope you will each find the grace in con to continue our dream of our great nation, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A public event is being organized by NCD Governor Poes Pakop for Thursday as tributes continue.